So today I'm going to show you how the sum statement works uh, in SAS. So uh, let's get started. Once you get uh, to the interface, then the first thing you want to type is data. Let's say you want to copy the sum and create a data set called sum, um, sum statement. And the first thing you want to do is you want to input some data. Let's input X and you want to calculate the total, right? And give variable name total. That's the typical way we write the statement. And then it's a total plus X, right? And they give some number with data lines. Right? <clears throat> Let's say the first one, you go with one. Second one, you go with two. And then three is missing. Uh, when some is when number is missing, you put a dot and you put uh, maybe four and the dot again and put a six and with a semicolon you say you run right. So when you run it, you're gonna see the results. <coughs> so you can see the x is getting uh, populated here uh, from one to the third one is missing and four and six, but total is not there. Uh, so why is the total is not there? You can see from here that uh, <clears throat> the total, so because it's not predefined, so its initial value is no, right? So in SAS, when you do a no plus uh, x, uh, actually it's equal to no. So basically, total will be no all the time, right? So if you actually put a sum statement here, you're going to see, let's change it to sum, right? and then you run it again, you're going to see the result. So now you can see the x is one plus no because we are using a sum function. Uh, so it's equal to one, two, three, four. But that's not something uh, we want here. Actually, what we want is actually, um, we want to accumulate it, right? So it's a one, here will be one, and the one plus two, here will be three, and the missing will be ignored, and the three plus four will be seven. So let's change the code. Um, so how do we, how do we change that? So the first thing we want to do is to retain the value of total, right? So when you do that, you put basically a retain statement. You say, I want to retain the value of total, right? And then you put a semicolon here and just to see if that will work, right? So now is you can see one's here, three is here, three plus missing is still three, and three plus seven is seven, and seven plus six, is 13. So that actually, that actually works, right? So when you use a combination of retain statement and also a sum statement, um, but there's an easier way, basically something called sum statement. So when you write sum statement, all you need to do is, let's say you comment out this one, right? And then you comment out this part as well. So basically all you need to write is total n plus x, right? So that actually will solve everything. You see how simple the sum statement is? So basically here is one, and then three, and three, and seven, seven, and it becomes 13. So basically that's how sum statement works. So another way to do it without using a sum statement, you would have to do, let's say, retain. Uh, Sometimes you give an initial value. Um, let's say you give a that's for the total, right? So you give the initial value as zero, right? And then you write this way. That's our initial approach, right? So total plus x. And um, let's see if, if that will work. Here you still get a missing value because the one is one here, and then one plus two is equal to three, Three plus missing is equal to missing because total will be missing. So from here, the total, because it's missing, so it's keep adding those no values and become no and no, right? So this is not something we want. Um, so we have to change this again. So another way to change it is basically you do a if condition. Let's say you do a if, um, just to test, right? If total um, is equal or not equal, right? not equal to no, um, <clears throat> sorry, that NE, and then you do a dense statement, then, and the total equal to plus x, right? So that actually, oh, still missing. So, 
So why is that missing? So why is it not equal? 